This is the 16th video in our series looking at how to set up a Google Nest Wi-Fi network. In order for our computer to be able to communicate with other computers on a network, our computer is assigned something called an IP address. As an IP address can be made up of either a series of numbers or a combination of both numbers and letters, we can think of an IP address as being a little bit like the computer equivalent of a telephone number. However, because it is hard to remember IP addresses that can be either made up of 12 or 32 digits, we use something called Domain Name System or DNS to act like a telephone book. This all means that rather than having to remember an IP address in order to browse the internet, we tend to use a web service domain name in order to view web pages. So when we type a domain name into our web browser, the browser will refer to a DNS server in order to find out the IP address associated with that domain name so that it can link us to the correct website. By default, when a computer is connected to a Google Nest Wi-Fi network, our Google Nest Wi-Fi router will use a Google DNS server. While this is a perfectly safe option, if you do not feel comfortable using another Google service, or you prefer to use a different DNS server, for example one that will give you additional layers of parental control, you may wish to change this setting. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can change the DNS settings on a Google Nest Wi-Fi network. If we first select the Google Home app and then select Settings, from within the Home Settings panel, we need to locate and choose Nest Wi-Fi. When the primary network panel opens, we need to scroll through the list of options and choose Advanced Networking. Within the Advanced Networking panel, we need to select the option called DNS Settings. As you can see, the DNS settings consist of three options. Automatic is the default option that is currently selected and uses Google's DNS servers. ISP is an option that will allow us to use the DNS server settings from our internet service provider. Finally, Custom will allow us to use a DNS server of our own choosing. Let's select Custom. Within Custom, we have four settings that allow us to configure DNS servers that use either IP version 4 or IP version 6. However, for this example, we will only be looking to use the first two fields, which are both for IP version 4 addresses. As you can see, we have fields for both a primary and a secondary DNS server. So as the secondary DNS server address is a backup should the primary DNS server become unavailable, if we wish, we could leave the secondary DNS server address blank. As an example, we're going to change the DNS settings on our Google Nest Wi-Fi network so that it will use open DNS servers. Let's select Save. We now need to select Save once again in order for our Google Nest Wi-Fi network to use the custom DNS settings. However, as you can see, we're presented with an error message instructing us to try and save again in a couple of seconds. Unfortunately, at the time of posting this video, it would appear that we've discovered a bug in the Google Home app. So no matter how long we wait to try and save our settings, we continue to receive an error message and our DNS settings revert back to automatic. Hopefully this issue will be fixed in a future update to the Google Home app. So in the meantime, we're going to get around this problem by reverting to Google's older Wi-Fi app. Once we've downloaded and logged into the Google Wi-Fi app, if we select the Options icon, from within Options, we need to locate the Settings heading and then select Network and General. After selecting Network and General, under the Network heading, we need to choose Advanced Networking. We're now presented with the same settings that we saw in the Google Home app. Let's choose DNS. In the DNS panel, we need to select Customize, and once again, enter the DNS server addresses that we wish to use. When we select Save, we're informed that the app is saving changes. 
However, we may also see a message informing us that there was a connection issue and that the settings change was not applied. While this message is concerning, if we select OK and then once again open the Google Home app, when we return to DNS settings by choosing Settings, Nest Wi Fi, Advanced Networking, and finally DNS settings. As you can see, our Google Nest Wi Fi network is now using the custom DNS service settings that we asked it to. So, to summarize, in this video we provided a brief overview of what a DNS server is. We then took a look at where and how you would change the DNS settings on a Google Nest Wi Fi network. In the next video in this series, we're going to take a look at a feature called IP Reservation by demonstrating how you would install a wireless printer onto your Google Nest Wi-Fi network.